please. This is Mira Condison, and in today's lesson, I will be showing us um, how to spice up our basic high life chord progression with um, the diminished chord. So, let me play the basic version of, of the song. So it's one, six, then the two, but the I'm in the key of um, F sharp. I move to C, C sharp, and F. But let me explain it here. So the two, I am playing it as um, um as a rootless chord because these are the two should be. But I'm playing it like this. So, so um, if I should look at this chord as a four in the key of F sharp, because this is a four. So this is a four. So I will call it the four. Um, the two over over the four. So you have the two here, the first inversion of the two, and the four on your left hand. So now, normally high life is one six two five one. So the keys. Why are you? Playing four over the two instead of um, the two. That's because of the diminished chord that I want to use. So the diminished chord is on the three. It's on the three. So, and by now you should know the um, application of the diminished chord. If you have a, um, a target chord, you will go down a semitone and play the diminished chord to that chord. Yeah, so, and now our target chord is a four, so we have to go to a three and play it there so to create the high life feel we have the three diminish and then the four on the left hand and the two minor on the right hand we can also call this chord um, if we play this way we'll call it f um major six so let's continue so let me go back to the basic a bit. So the diminished chord, if you want to form a diminished chord, you pick your first note, you count three, count another three, you have a diminished triad. Same thing also, if you, um, let's, let's look at um, E. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's how you form um, a diminished chord. The three is the main. So you touch the main. You count three notes after the main. Count another three notes after the th the first three notes. So this is um, A sharp diminished. But I'm. Um, I'm playing it, it's like this. Okay. So th this is the first inversion of this. So. Okay. So. If you have any traditional song that has the four you can play 
the three diminish to the four to create that traditional feel in the song. And if you don't have the four, but you have the two, turn your two to the four by, bring, by playing four on the left hand instead of the two you play the four it will still sound nice okay so these are just um improvisation techniques swap your one chord for the other um chord substitution so music is endless okay so um So let's look at the song. Come and sing the love is good. Come and sing the love is good. So you see, I added that chord to the four. So normally the song is supposed to be Come and sing the love is good. The one, then to the four. Come and sing the five is one. But I play. So that is it. So anytime you have a three, sorry, the four, ap uh, apply the three diminish as a passing chord to the four. Or if you don't have the four in a song, substitute your two for the four. And then apply the diminish. So let me play it through one more time. what I did with my left hand. So I was to go to the three. Then I played. So I went down a, um, two notes down. Then from this note, you just play this flip. So for instance, if it's A flat, you go down two notes. If it's C, so to be. Sorry. Okay. Right, so that is it. So let's move to the key. F. So, in the key of F, our three is, is um, A, because the key of F is so, so it's A, then this is A diminished, A, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you evacuate. So. Mm. 
Let's for F. Let's go to C sharp. So, um, one, six, four, five, one, then our three is F. So, form the diminished chord on the F. So, you have F diminished, invert it. That's it. So, lastly, the key of C. So one six four five four one. So the, so E is a three. So this is our E diminished chord. Invert it. So. So you see, it's not that uh, difficult. All right, so I'll be see you guys in on the lesson. So um, if you want to um, improve your play, you're a beginner. And you want to advance your skill. You have learned to um, a specific level, and you feel it's time to advance. Contact me if you are. What's up? Have a nice day.